I'm Joel Bine. I'm in charge of research and advanced development in the development organization. And I've been at Cisco a little over 20 years now, joined in January 1989. As I think back about the 25 years, I think about this really has been a family through so much of my life. I'll remember from that the sort of figure out how to make it work attitude that Cisco has had not only in its early days, but carried through to today. I'm, I'm very proud of that aspect of our company and very honored to be part of a firm where people still care 25 years after its creation about winning every single customer, solving every single problem, putting the customers first. That sort of attitude, that desire to really drive the business from the customer standpoint is something I think that has made Cisco a great company. Also, I think another thing that has made Cisco a very good company over the years has been its iOS software, which was developed at the inception of Cisco before it was even called iOS, just the company software, and branded in the early 90s with that name. But that software has gone through so much growth and had so many changes that people felt were impossible to make in such a software base, from high availability and in-service software upgrade to the componentization it's going through now, it has just continued to meet the needs of the customer base. And again, that's just a testament to some of the early design, the original architects of the software uh, placed into it. What I hope to see Cisco provide 20 and 25 years from now as we expand in the consumer space and drive for that is where people think of the network as an always on, they're always connected to it, they no longer even notice the devices they're using that are network attached. Just being part of the internet is essential to their lives and essential to how they communicate and I've got to believe the good in that will provide so much value in how we will work with one another, see all of us as part of a single community and break down barriers and borders. That's what I'd like to see Cisco to continue to provide, not only to its customers, but to everyone uh, who utilizes the technology that depends on what Cisco's customers provide to them. And that, again, makes me very proud.